If it's Monday, Velma Cox and her friends must be playing Roma Cube. Uh, I have three tens to put yeah, down. Yeah, that's called a set. All of a different, yeah. that's called a set. Okay. At 96 years old, Velma has a busier social calendar than most people half her age. I played dominoes this morning. And usually this time of the afternoon we play skip bowl and rummy cube. On another day, she might fit in some wee bowling. After all, she does hold the high score for her senior living community. I play games uh, three, uh, these three times a week. And we just play a half a day. So the other half a day, I gotta find something else to do. <laughs> I got all kinds of beads. In her remaining spare time, Velma makes art with beads so small she can fit dozens into a single flower petal. Velma can make one blossom a day. Over time, she has made 30 bouquets and given them all away. I make little animals and I make flowers. And uh, it was just fun and I'd give them to my friends so I could make some more because they piled up a little bit. If I make some, I couldn't make any more unless I got rid of them. So I just started giving them away. Her friends all sport brooches and hair clips with Velma's bead flowers. I enjoy making them. And it spends my time. I have a lot of extra time. That extra time is how Velma came here and started making bead flowers in the first place. In 2006, her husband Robert became so ill from diabetes, Velma could no longer take care of him. Their daughter Arlene moved them to the Felician village in Manitowoc. Velma was in her apartment and Robert was in the nursing home wing. And I went to St. Louis and St. Mary's every day, yes. And I had to finally had to feed him his meals. Robert passed away three years later. Oh, after my husband died, I had to find something to pass the time because time was heavy on my hands because always before, always went to be with him in the daytime. Velma's children tried to help her find a hobby to fill the empty hours. My daughter-in-law bought me a bead book and I kept it at it till I just enjoyed it so much. It gave her something to focus on during the long afternoons. I'm only thinking of my beads. I'm not thinking about nothing else. Robert never lived in this apartment, but his memory is all over, from photos on the wall to a candle holder on the counter. Met him on the roller skating rink. That's a long time ago. They were married in 1941. We farmed 30 years. They raised three children, and Velma uses email and Skype to keep in touch. I showed him my beads and stuff. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've been having fun here, I guess. I send a message to my daughter every morning, telling her I'm up out of bed, so she'll know I'm still alive. <laughs> Even with all the games and talking with family, there are still a lot of hours left in the day. And Velma says working with beads and making art can be therapeutic. It's even better when she can share the results with her friends. Yeah, and so yeah, you can take it. Yeah, yeah. So I 